Hi, I'm Cheryl Lynn, and today we're going to be reversing the door swing on a Maytag refrigerator. This should only take about 25 minutes to a half an hour. For this repair, we're going to need four tools, an extended 5 16 socket wrench, a 5 16 wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. Before making this repair, make sure to completely disconnect the refrigerator from its power source. And we'll be working on the top of the refrigerator to start. We'll remove the cover on the hinge, lifts right off. Then we have three 5 16 nuts. We can use a socket wrench to remove them because they are pretty tight. Once you have that last nut loosened, just keep a hand on the door so it doesn't fall off. Then you can lift straight up on the hinge. Then we can come down to the front, open the door slightly, and lift it off that bottom hinge. In order to remove the center hinge, we need to loosen these two 5 16 bolts. They're a little hard to reach, so I suggest you using a small wrench. Once both of those are loosened, you can remove the final bolt. At this point, you can pull it to the left and release the hinge. Now we need to open the door slightly and lift up off the bottom hinge and set it to the side. And we'll need to remove the two 5 16 nuts on the bottom hinge. Remove the hinge. Now we're just going to need to shift this grill down so it covers the old hinge screw holes and reveals the new ones on the left. In order to do that, we'll just need to pop it out. So press down on the top and pull out. And then just slide it down until it's covering the other screw holes. And push the top down and in. And that's all there is to it. And now we can put in the hinge on the left side. Line up the new hinge. And start the screws in. And then we can tighten them down. There we go. Now we can prep our refrigerator door. We'll start by removing the door bins. Now we can carefully flip the door over. A Phillips head screw holds in this bracket, so we'll remove that. And we'll transfer it over to the other side. And we can line up the two holes and start screwing in that Phillips head screw. This might be a little tight if it's the first time you're doing it. Put a little bit of muscle into it and you'll be good to go. And flip over the door again. We can replace the door bins. Remove the two Phillips head screws at the top of the handle. There is a screw behind the handle trim as well. So we'll take our flathead screwdriver and slowly start prying that down. And you should be able to slide it down and pull it off to remove it. And we can remove that last Phillips head screw for this handle. 
And we'll also need to remove this black plug here for the hinge. So just pry right up underneath the black piece, lift up to remove. And you can transfer it to the other side. And we'll just need to remove the three space holders for the screws, just transfer it over. and transfer all the space holders to the other side. And you can place the handle. Start by screwing in the top screws. Don't tighten them down all the way yet. We still need to line up the last screw. Screw in the bottom screw. And then you can place the trim. It'll push up into place. And click. And you can tighten down the top screws. Now we can prep for the center hinge. We will replace the old hinge screws and tighten them down. And we can remove this nut and loosen these. And we're ready to mount the door. So we can lift up on the door line up the hole on the bottom with the hinge. Once that sits in place, you can shut the door. You can bring it in to the point where it's almost closed. And you can place your center hinge in the door. Make sure that both the spacers are on the hinge. And once that's in there, you can line up the hinge with the screws and make sure all the holes are lined up and place that bolt. And we can tighten down the two outer bolts with the wrench. For the freezer door, we're going to have to start by removing the handle. So we'll start by unscrewing the screws at the top of the door. And we can flip it over and get to the screws on the bottom of the door. Grab hold of the handle while you get the last screw. And you can pull the handle off. There's another bracket on the underside of the freezer door. So we'll move that again. And we'll move this one to the other side. And line up the holes. Make sure that's straight as you're tightening it down. There we go. And we'll need to move the Maytag Adlin to the other side as well. You can usually just use your nail to pull right up on it. Like so. And just transfer it over to the other side. Press into place. Here we go. And we can place the handle. Remember that the actual handle part goes towards the bottom of the door. And place the screws. and screw in the top screws. And it's ready to go on the fridge. And we can place the freezer door. It'll need to be out a little bit until it's on the hinge. And you can close the door. And we can place the top hinge. There's gonna be three space holders for the screws. We'll just need a flathead screwdriver. Carefully pry up on these. They may actually twist out once you get them up high enough. There we go. And transfer the spacers over to the other side. Push those in as far as they'll go. And with a hand on the door, we can place the top hinge. You're going to want to lift up on the door slightly so you can align those holes. And then once those are lined up, you can place the screws to hold it in place. And then you can tighten down the bolts. And once it's nice and tight, you can replace the cover. 
And that's it. Finally, don't forget to plug in your refrigerator. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this video very helpful. If you don't have any of the OEM parts or tools that you saw in the video, all of those products are available for purchase on our website. Our goal is to show that the everyday person is completely capable of cheap and easy household appliance repairs. So please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and maybe even show this video to a friend in need.